Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Now, as you recall, in a past video, I went over the best and the worst uh, relief, you know, bullpens in Stratomatic. And really, they were the close to the best and the worst bullpens, really, in baseball. But I went over their Stratomatic cards, and so in this video, we're going to discuss the best and the worst starting staffs in baseball and what their Stratomatic cards look like. So uh, let's start this. Let's start this party out with the best starting staff in baseball and on the Stratomatic cards. And uh, we and this again is using the actual 60 game set. This is not the imagined set, um, <clears throat> although really the uh, the cards are are really pretty close in a lot of cases in both sets but this is the actual 60 game as played statistics and cards for Stratomatic for the best pitching staff in baseball and we will start off with the worst this is the worst guy on this staff and I am talking about the LA Dodgers staff and the worst guy from that year last year was Walker Bueller. Yeah, he was the worst. Okay, look at that card. He had eight starts. He was only 1 0, but in 37 innings, he allowed 24 hits and had a 344 earned run average. Now, he did allow seven home runs in those 37 innings, so that's, you know, I mean, that's what that is, but he's the worst guy. The second worst guy was Julio Urias, and there's his card. And he was 3-0 and with a 327 earned run average in 10 starts. And in 55 innings pitched, he did allow five home runs, which actually, in this day and age, that's not that bad. And there's what the front of the card looks like for Mr. Urias. <coughs> So, those are the two worst guys. And we're talking about guys that had, like, a, a significant number of starts. Like, somebody that started once or twice. No. All right, so now that brings us to Dustin May. And Dustin May, last year, was 3-1 and one with a 257 earned run average in 10 starts. And he only allowed nine home runs in 56 innings. And that's his card. And there's the front of the card for Mr. Dustin May. Next up, we have Tony Gonsolin. I believe that's what his name is, Tony Gonsolin. And he was 2-2 two and two with a 231 earned run average in 8 starts. He pitched 47 innings, allowed 32 hits, and only 2 home runs. So there's his card. Now, bear in mind, this is a staff that still, as far as I know, has all of these guys. And they got Trevor Bauer. Let me see, do they still have all of them? Bueller, Urias, May. Yeah, I think they still have all of them. And now that brings us to the last guy that we're going to talk about, and that's Mr. Clayton Kershaw. And there's his card. He had a 216 earned run average, and he was 6 and 2 last year. In 58 innings, though, he did give up eight home runs. So he had a bit of a gopher ball problem. There's the front of his card. Clayton Kershaw. So that was the best staff in baseball and by extension in the Stratomatic set for 2020. 
So now that brings us to the worst staff. And uh, we are going to start off with the uh, some of the better pitchers on their staff and then get to the bad ones, which really there's only two acceptable ones. The first acceptable one, and I'm talking about the Detroit Tigers pitching staff here. And uh, the first guy is Spencer Turnbull. And he had a 397 earned run average. He was 4 and 4 with a 397 in 11 starts. 57 innings pitched, he allowed 47 hits and only two home runs. Now, this, remember, this is the best guy. Like, you know, if you had to rank them best to worst and the best guy was your ace, Spencer Turnbull is their ace. So now you got uh, Tariq Skubal. And there's his card. And he was 1-4 with a 563 earned run average. Now, in today's day and age, the baseball the way it is now, you know, a 563 earned run average, you could live with that probably. 32 innings pitched, 28 hits allowed. He did walk 11 guys, though. But he struck out 37, and then again also he allowed 39 home runs. That was the second best guy. Now now we're getting into the, you know, now we're getting into the sediment. You've got, uh, the next guy is Matt Boyd. And Matt Boyd was 3-7 and seven with a 671 earned run average in 12 starts. 60 innings pitched, 67 hits allowed, and 15 home runs. Now, he did strike out 60 in those 60 innings. But, uh... The next guy you got is Michael Fulmer. Now, Michael Fulmer, I believe, is looking for a bounce-back year this year, and the Tigers are planning on him having a bounce-back year. Walked quite a few guys, though. Um, he was 0-2 with an 878 earned run average in 10 starts. Oh, yeah, I'm having a blast. Thanks. Good. God, sucker teed off in that like he knew I was going to throw a fastball. He did know. Oh. I told him. 28 innings pitched, 45 hits allowed, and he walked 12. Yeah, let me back it off a little bit there. So, not good. The next guy we're going to look at is Casey Mize. Now, Casey Mize is, I think, one of their up-and-coming young guys. Supposed to be their, like, stud of the future. But he was 0-1 with a 699 earned run average in seven starts. Probably the Tigers brought him up too early and probably out of necessity. So... There is Casey Mize. And the last guy on the list is former White Sox pitcher Ivan Nova. Former Pirate as well. That tells you quite a bit. He was 1-1 one one with an 8.53 earned run average in four starts. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! 19 innings pitched, 22 hits allowed, and four home runs. So, that's Ivan Nova. So, that is a comparison of the worst staff to the best staff in baseball and in Stratomatic. I hope you enjoyed that comparison and also be on the lookout in the future. I will be doing the best um, bench, maybe, maybe not, but I will definitely be doing the best lineups. I'll be comparing the lineups of the best offensive team and the lineup of the worst offensive team. Yeah, probably not doing the bench. I don't see a reason to do the best bench. And I don't know how I would even quantify that. So that is going to be it 
What did you think? Leave a comment below. Do you think those are the best and worst staffs? Or have you, uh, in your opinion, come across one that you think is worse than the Tigers or one that's better than the Dodgers? And if you have come across one that's better than the Dodgers, you better tell baseball because they don't have that opinion. But anyway, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.